Hello everyone. Our topic for today's video is all about evaluating function. Now in our example, we're going to evaluate f of x equal to 3x squared minus 4x plus 2. With the following given for the values of x, so we have letter A, the given value of x is negative 2, then in our letter B, we have the given value of x is 3, letter C is x equal to 1 half, and letter D, we have x equal to the quantity x plus 1. So we're going to start evaluating using the value of x in letter A, which is negative 2. Okay, so let's put this letter A. So we need to copy first the given function, which is f of x is equal to 3x squared minus 4x plus 2. So our given value of x in letter A is negative 2. So we're going to put f of negative 2 instead of x. So we're going to substitute x with negative 2 since the given value of x in our example a is negative 2. So that is equal to just copy 3 and then substitute the value of x which is negative 2. Then don't forget the exponent which is 2 or the power. Then minus 4x we put negative 2. And then we have plus 2. Okay. So that is equal to first we copy 3. We need to simplify this one first. So we have negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. Then we have negative 4 times negative 2 since we are both negative. So the result will be positive 8. Then plus 2, so we have 3 times 4, that is 12, plus so positive 8, positive 2, that is plus 10. So that is equal to 12 plus 10 is 22. So that is our answer for letter A, which is the given value of x is negative 2. Okay? Now, let us proceed with letter B. So, let me erase this one. Okay, so let us proceed with letter B. The same function. Okay, but this time, we're going to solve for letter B. Now, the given value of x in our letter B is positive 3. So, instead of f of x, we're going to put f of... 3. So that is equivalent to 3 times we plug in the value of x which is 3. Don't forget the exponent or the power. And then minus 4 times plug in the value of x which is 3. Here we have 3 and then plus 2. Okay, so we're going to simplify that one. Let's copy 3. We have 3 squared is 3 times 3, that is 9. And we have negative 4 times 3. So 4 times 3, since negative 4 is negative, as division, we have negative 12 plus 2. Then we simplify this one. So we have 3 times 9 is 27. Negative 12 plus 2 is negative 10. So we have 27 minus 10 is 17. Okay. So our answer for letter B is 17. Okay, next, we're going to proceed with letter C. The given value of x in letter C is 1 over 2 or 1 half. So, so this is now letter C. So we're going to erase this one. Since the given value of x is 1 half, so this will become f of 1 half, or 1 over 2. So we simply copy 3. So instead of x, we're going to put 
one half. Again, don't forget the exponent. This is 2. Then, negative 4 times x, plug in 1 half. And then, plus 2. Okay. So, that is just copy 3 times 1 half squared or 1 half times 1 half that is equal to 1 4 okay negative 4 times 1 half that is negative 4 over 2 plus 2 okay so simplify 3 times 1 fourth is 3 4 minus 4 divided by 2 is 2 then plus 2 so we have 3 over 4 take note that we have negative 2 plus 2 that's equal to 0 so now we have 3 4 now this one is equal to 0 so negative 2 plus 2 is 0 what remains is 3, 4. So that's why our final answer is 3, 4. Okay? So let us proceed with our last given. So x here is equal to the quantity x plus 1. So let us proceed with letter D. Now let me address this one. This will become f of instead of so we have the quantity x plus one. Okay, so we have three times plug in the value of x, which is x plus one. Then don't forget the exponent two minus four. We plug in the value of x, which is the quantity x plus one. Then don't forget to plus 2. Okay, next we're going to simplify. So we have 3. Now we have x plus 1 squared. So that is we multiply this one. Square of binomial. So we have x squared plus 2x plus one. So the product of x plus 1 squared is equal to x squared plus 2x plus 1. Minus 4 times x, so that is negative 4x. Negative 4 times 1 is negative 4. And then we have... This is 1. We have plus 2. Okay? Next is simplify. So 3 times x squared is 3x squared. 3 times 2x that is 6x. 3 times 1 that is 3. And we have negative 4x. Negative 4 plus 2 is negative 2. Then we we'll bring down 3x squared. Then we have 6x minus 4x. So 6 minus 4 is 2x. Then we have 3 minus 2 is 1. So therefore, our final answer is 3x squared plus 2x plus 1. Okay? I hope you learned something today. So don't forget to subscribe, thank you very much, and see you next time.